what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a garage day you know it's been a while do some work in the garage i'm going to show you guys what we got going on the practice bike unfortunately it is in rough shape i'll show you guys right there that's problem number one and problem number two which is the bigger of the problem oh i think it's over here so problem number two is this guy so this guy snapped i was trying to take this out um this way i could get the foot peg off obviously and she snapped so that's obviously a big problem we're probably not gonna be able to get that out so we did order a rear section we are gonna change the rear section and then once we change that we can weld this up just to buy us a little more time we do have a frame got to give a huge shout out to muffs motorsports we picked up this frame right here 2017 but we are not going to use it just yet we're going to send it to my buddy herb willis at sport bike powder coating let him powder coat that bad boy blue and then uh, once we get it back we'll do a frame swap and it uh, should be good to go but uh what we're going to do today is get this thing broken down and get that old frame section out so that's today's goal and uh taking you guys along for the ride so let's go
All right, guys, we got this thing all stripped down. You can see we got parts everywhere. Swing arm right there. All the other crap right there. That's the rear section off. You can see the bolt right here. Now, I could save this. I could probably try welding a nut on this and getting it out. But, I mean, I got one coming. But I may. I may mess around with this. Could be just a project to just to try to mess around with it and keep it. But these threads may be shot. I'm not sure. This thing is in there, guys. So, we got a new one coming. We'll just take all the rubber rubber grommets out of this. We got to take the bracket for the Gland Innovations case saver off that. And uh, that's pretty much it. You guys can see the quad. She looks funky. Very, very funky looking. Check this out. When this thing tweaked, because that was loose. The last race, guys, my foot peg was really loose. And check this out. Check how loose out loose this is. See it? So once one thing starts loosening up, it just, I mean, that's how, that's why these rails crack and stuff. But we do have a lower rail possibly in the works. We do have a company out in Europe. You guys may have seen on Facebook. Um, I did talk to them. They are supposed to hopefully send me one. We're going to do a video on it. And then uh, once we get that frame powder coated and back, we will do a complete frame swap. This is just to get me going because we are going to ride obviously during the winter and you know the next month or so so we need to have this quad up and rolling and i don't want to just swap the frame with that i want that thing powder coated i want the thing to look nice and new um so this is just another band-aid but if we get that lower rail we will fix this frame we'll do a video on that as well and uh send that frame off the powder coating and that'll be just a spare frame so stay tuned for that and then uh once we get this part in hopefully later in the week we'll get that back section in and we'll do an install video we'll show you guys maybe we'll do that real time um it probably won't be too long maybe i can throw it in in 15 or 20 minutes or so keep it quick and uh that'll be that then we'll be good we can ride again and uh we do have you guys can see the garage may look a little empty so we've been cleaning it out the last couple of days cleaning it out once this is done we have to empty the garage completely out we're doing a little bit of work to the garage uh maybe six or eight weeks ago we had a windstorm and that tree right there fell on the garage right there so we got a little bit of damage there we got contractors coming in like two weeks three weeks they're going to fix that uh we are going to pull all the insulation out of this garage it's all coming out we're going to spray foam it we are going to sheetrock the ceiling and hopefully plaster it maybe sheetrock the walls but like the upper section like the upper four feet and the bottom four feet i think i'm going to do plywood um just so if i if i hit it it's going to be you know there's not going to be holes in it so the plywood will be nice and then uh brighten this thing up neaten it up we're going to rearrange probably some of these shelves and also we are pouring a new concrete floor so that's also a big thing that's why we got to empty it all out new concrete floor that door is going to get changed brand new door this door has already been updated, so this can stay. But uh, then we're going to do a mini split system in there, so I don't got to run my... Well, I still will have my bullet heater for the cold, cold days just to heat it up quick. But we're going to do a mini split. So we'll have AC in the summer, and we'll have good heat in the winter. And uh, when it's done, it should be it should be a really good workspace. Hopefully, it will improve the quality of the videos. You guys are probably used to seeing the thing a mess by now, but we're going to get this thing organized we're going to get cleaned up but that means once we get this quad done we are going to be off limits in here for i'm going to say six to eight weeks so just after this next video just uh hang on guys because we're going to be once this thing's up and running we will start on the new build and i think i'm going to do real time on that so it's going to be a ton of parts i'll keep them short try to keep them between like 20 30 minutes and uh we'll get that thing rolling we got parts ordered we got stuff coming in and uh we're in good shape we can start that now but like i said this is a priority we got to get this done and then we'll get back in here and get more garage videos so uh hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're not yet please subscribe throw me a thumbs up on this video and if you got any questions drop me a comment and we will see you guys on the next one all right peace